then two angels will come to him. Munkar and Wanakir. Munkar, Wanakir. It is an Arabic terminology of creatures that are unknown, unidentified, unknown. Munkar, meaning don't, don't know what it is. Nakir, even more unknown. Munkar, Nakir. One that has never been thought of or imagined. Nakir, another one that has never been known or identified. They're just different expressions the Prophet ﷺ gave. Munkar, wa Nakir. You cannot tell what they are. Can't, their images is, is horrific. It's unbearable. And you, don't, you can't say what they are. You just say they're creatures of some sort. Some of them will see them, see them monstrous, monsters. They are quite horrific, Munkar wa Nakir. They look the same for the believer and the disbeliever. But the difference is for the believer, Allah says in the Quran, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthens and makes firm those of you who believe in Allah. Makes you firm in this life, in your iman, and will make you firm in the hereafter. Meaning in your grave and in the day of judgment. You will not be afraid. As Allah says in another verse, لا يحزنهم الفزع الأكبر The great fear, the great terror will not affect them. So the angels will come and they will wake him up and say, مَن ربك? They'll ask him three questions. مَن ربك? Who is your Lord? وَمَا دينك? What is your religion? وماذا تقول بالرجل الذي بعث فيكم؟ What do you say about that man who was sent as a messenger among you? In another hadith, you probably hear about وما كتابك? What is your book? And he will say, My Lord is Allah, Subhanahu wa Taala. I believed in Him and worshipped Him. My religion is Islam, and my and the man is my prophet. I heard about him and I believed in Him and followed Him. And the angels will say to him, Sleep or rest. Rest for what is going to come is going to be better, O oh, beautiful soul. And then he is told to look or she is told to look to their left. And a little opening, a gateway is opened. And they see hellfire burning itself. Terrible, terrible place. And they will say to him, I don't know if it's Munkar wa Nakir or others, other angels that will be there. They will say to him, nevertheless, look at that. And the person in the grave moves away says that is your place that is your place and Allah created that place for you but because you chose to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you have saved yourself from that place you will never go in there and they close it see Rasul told us that every person has a place in heaven or hell and whichever one you hold on to is the one you earn then they open a door from the right and he sees paradise, palaces, beauty, nur, undescribable beauty. And he loves it. And they say to him, this is what is awaiting for you now. You have earned it and you're going there. This is your kingdom. But as soon as he sees that, the Prophet ﷺ says, the person in the grave says, dua, makes a dua, says, Allahumma Rabbi aqim as -sa'a. Ya Rabbi Aqim as Oh my Lord, let the world end. Let the world end. So I may go to my family and belongings in paradise. I want to go there. Please end it quickly. He wants the world to erupt so he can go there because of what he has seen. In another hadith, also Sahih, where as they are in the grave, their grave opens up as far as they could see. And it is filled with a garden from the gardens of paradise. As the Prophet ﷺ told us, as the poet says, based on the hadith of Musa. And then he said, It is either a garden from the gardens of paradise or a pit from the pits of hellfire. And a person comes to him and sits with the person in the grave. His face is full of companionship and and lovely company and you say to that person who are you for your face is the face that brings khair this is also in the hadith of the Prophet your face brings good 
fortune. It brings good news. You know, when someone comes to you with a smiley face and you say, wow, you know, my, my heart opened up. I love your company. You only say good things. You compliment me. You give me good news. Contrast that to a person who comes with a miserable face and you know that it's got bad news for you. This person comes to you with good news. And you say, your face is the face that brings only good news. And the person says to him, I am your good actions, your righteous actions. Look, you've turned me into this beautiful company for you. And he says, I will never depart from you. I'll keep you company here. So you don't be lonely. In the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, he says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of the moments that he will be closest to his servant is when they are in the grave with no anis or jalis, with no companion of their family from this life. He will be very close to them to look after them. So when a person dies or passes away in your family or someone friendly to you, always remember that no one, a stranger has not... Uh, you know, he has, a stranger has not captured him. He's not imprisoned. He's not kidnapped. But he is taken away by the most merciful Allah who created you and them. So he's in good hands, inshallah. The Prophet ﷺ said, Munkar wa nakir, come to it. And they woke her up with terror. It wakes up and sees this monstrosity in front of it. Obviously for them, there is no firmness of the heart. For they died disbelieving, they don't want him, Allah. Allah doesn't want them therefore, because they chose not to want him. And the angels are, will ask them, مَا رَبُّكْ مَا دِينُكْ مَاذَا تَقُولُ بِرَجَلَ They ask them the same three questions. But Allah does not give them the answer on their tongue. Rather, He makes their minds so cloudy with this fear that they say, Ah, oh, ah, oh, la adri, la adri. Ah, oh, ah, oh, la adri. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I don't know. The word ah, oh, ah oh, here, what, 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 the interpretation of it is that they, they used to remember, some of them. or well, they're trying to remember. But, but for some reason, they just can't. Oh, as if they know the answer, but they can't remember it. They can't recall it. La adri. I don't know. They're now asking the second question. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. La adri. I, I just don't know. And then, a door from the right is opened. And they see heaven. And they say, this is your place. It was awaiting you. But you lost it. Then they close it. And they open a door from the left. And he sees hellfire. He says, that's what's awaiting you now. But as soon as he says this, the hadith of Prophet ﷺ says, فيقول, The kafir, this disbeliever says, Ya Rabbi, la taqim as Oh my Lord, don't let the last hour come. Don't let the world end. Let it go. His grave is tightened. Not as far as he could see at all. And it is hufratum min hufar in nar, a pit from the pits of hellfire, walayyadu billah. So he burns somewhat. And a company that brings bad news comes and sits with him. Horrible monster. And he says, Man anta fawajhuka alladhi yaji'u bishar. Who are you for your face brings bad news? And he says, Ana amaluka al khabith. I am your bad actions. Look what you turn me into. Ana la ufarukuka abada. I will never leave you. So this is the state of the believing soul and the disbelieving soul. And the hereafter, al qiyamah does not only mean the end of the world. Whoever dies, then that is his qiyamah. As the Prophet ﷺ said in the Sahih Hadith, مَن مَاتَ فَقَدْ قَامَتْ قِيَامَتُهُ Whoever dies, then their last hour has come. In another hadith he said, and the graves are the first stations that a person stops at of the stations of the hereafter. Once a person dies, they have, they have been transferred from this life into the next life. 